Hi everybody and welcome to Bitwig Studio Basics episode 11. Today we're going to talk about audio time stretching and the warping in Bitwig Studio. My name is Matthias and let's take the tour. Okay, so working with time stretching and uh, warping with audio in Bitwig Studio. Often when you work with samples from the internet or from the library, the core library of Bitwig Studio, you can see the the tempo setting of your loops, and they are often perfectly matched up to work with, with your grid, as they might be in perfect bars. But what about working with your own audio recordings of guitars and drums, etc.? Maybe you haven't recorded to the metronome, and you don't know the, the real tempo, or maybe you have recorded with a floating tempo. Then it can be very powerful to use the audio stretching, or the time stretching of Bitwig Studio. So let's record a little guitar take and then we will break it down and see how we can match up that a little bit floating guitar recording to uh, the BPM grid of Bitwig Studio. The first thing you want to do is select your audio clip and uh, go down to the information panel. Here we can select the stretching modes and uh, it's currently set to the default mode which is stretch and I will use uh, the Elastic Pro stretching mode which is a transient preserving spectral stretching mode with the format control. So select that and double click your audio clip to bring up the audio editor. Here we can see that we have some uh, different modes, different views. We can go to the stretching view and the onset view. Let's go to the stretching view and make sure that we move the audio clip to the beginning here. And move it back so we have it in the beginning here. And here if we select the onsets we can see the different uh, onsets for the transients in this audio recording. But we will go to the stretching mode. And to make very accurate edits, you need to hold down shift to be able to move this cursor, the offset cursor here. And we go to the first transient and we double click to add an offset point, a stretching mode point. And we can drag that backwards like this to make the first transient of our guitar at the exact first uh, bar hit. Okay, so now we will go in here and extract a part of this guitar recording because it will take uh, too much time in this video to go in and edit the whole uh, audio recording. So we will just take the first part here. Okay, so there we have uh, the second time this uh, pattern comes. is played, so we will select that last part and get rid of that. Now we can see that this uh, floating guitar recording, it takes up uh, a little bit more than the four first bars here. So to match this up with our tempo, we need to move this a little bit backwards. To do that, first we add a stretching point to the ending here, stretching point. So we have a stretching point in the beginning and we have a stretching point at the end. So now we can move this little guitar recording to make it first match up to these four bars, these fir first uh, four bars. Let's drag down the tempo. can set it to looping mode so we can hear this loop also. Now we can see that uh, some of these transients is not on the perfect uh, downbeat on the bar. So what we do, we hold shift again and enter another stretching point here and drag this part a little bit backwards. We can even move it a little bit more. So we have the transient at the exact hit of the bar here there. Let's go back a little bit more here. Okay, so we can see here it. Here they are a little bit early. So what we are, we do, we go back here and see when they start to get earlier. Okay, it's around here. So let's uh, add another stretching point and move it so it matches up with the with the beats, with the lines. 
we have some early early birds too. We move them a little bit forward. This one is a little bit early, so we can move that one too. This is a little bit late, so move that earlier there. And here we have some drifting, so let's move them backwards a little bit. Maybe move this one a little bit forward. So this is what you do, you go in here and make all your look for all the transients in your recording and then you move them so they match up with the grid in your in your timeline. I think this is can be decent. Move that one back a little bit. And this last one. So the good thing here is now when we have this perfectly in time with our grid, we can change this to any tempo, we can go down in tempo. Or we can increase the tempo and it will play tight against our grid. Yeah, so that's how easy it is to map up your floating audio recording, to map up against the tempo and, and grid of Bitwig Studio. Okay, so I hope that gives you some insight into audio time stretching in Bitwig Studio. If you have any questions, please shoot them in the comment section below. If you don't have a Bitwig Studio yet, you can check out an affiliate link in the description. There should also be a discount code, which gives you a discount on the full version of Bitwig Studio. Now you can check out my other videos. Thanks for watching today and see you in the next episode. Bye.